Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's webinar, Accelerate Higher Throughput in a Smaller Footprint. My name is Mehdi Bouzid, and I'm working with Keysight Technologies within the Electronics Manufacturing Sales Team. In this webinar, we will be honored by the presence of Mr. Vincent Herriot from Lacroix Electronics. We have prepared some interesting content for you. We hope it will be to the level of expectations. In order to give you some time and familiarize yourself with the console, we will be showing two short videos prior to the uh, technical content. Within the console, you can use the control to adjust your screen and eyes comfort. It will be followed by a live questions and answer session. So please feel free to submit those questions at any time during the presentation. For that, you can use the Q&A icon. We will be very grateful if you can spare some time and answer to our B survey. This is the way we can evaluate and improve ourselves as our goal is to better serve you. We thank you in advance for answering to the survey. Without further ado, let's get started. Wishing you a great session with us. You are explorers. It's who you are. You think bigger and smaller. You think faster and slower. You take inspiration from everywhere so you can innovate more. Your visions start in rooms, move to desktops, then to pockets, then to wrists. You ask big questions, pose impossible challenges, all the while seeking those who believe like you do. At Keysight, we believe. We nurture the far-fetched, remove barriers that limit possibilities, and stay ahead of the standards. We redefine precision in measurement so you can go smaller. We integrate and expand test functions so you can streamline complex workflows. And we surface intelligent analytics so you can innovate faster. We believe in you. We are Keysight. We accelerate innovation. Just for a moment, imagine the electronics industry of the future. Even though it is at the heart of all new technologies, the electronics industry is changing rapidly. Let me tell you how my partner, Lacroix Electronics, supports me in my projects. I can connect using a simple, intuitive interface to follow the progress of my product from design to delivery. I really appreciate this transparency. I can define my requirements in just a few minutes and have an estimate of pricing and planning. My technical advisor is always there to help. He is in contact with his network of partners. It's a real asset as I get quick and relevant answers to very complex subjects. Once my order is confirmed, my project is handed over to the engineers in their design office. With the help of complex algorithms, Tom selects the best combinations of hardware, software and mechatronics to create the most optimized product. He gets involved in the production phase of my order using a digital clone of the selected factory. By anticipating the mass production of my product, we all save time and money. At a meeting with my colleagues later on, we decide to increase the production quantities at the end of the year. Indeed, our product is more successful than expected. By using the simulation tool Lacroix offers, I can give my colleagues a plan in real time that we validate together directly. The machines in the plant are all connected to the cloud, enabling me to see how my order is progressing. The machines are interconnected and auto-adjust in real time. Artificial intelligence enables them to perform predictive analyses, which help improve quality and the reliability of delivery times. 
The operator has just launched the last manufacturing stage of my order. The final assembly area is built to suit my needs. Lucy is assisted by several machines. By using augmented reality, she knows precisely where to put the mechanical parts. A collaborative robot also helps her with repetitive tasks. My order is completed. By consulting the LaCroix portal, I can see my products will be delivered starting from tomorrow. That's perfect. By collaborating with the LaCroix Electronics team, we are all contributing to building an even smarter world. Welcome to the Accelerate High Throughput in a Smaller Footprint webinar. My name is Mehdi Bouzid. I'm a Regional Sales Manager for Electronics Manufacturing Test Product Line, working with Keysight Technologies and covering the Southern European region. I'm co-presenting this webinar with Mr. Jun Balang, the Keysight Business Development Manager for the Circuit Test Product Line, working at our Center of Expertise located in Singapore. Later in this session, we will be joined by Mr. Vincent Herriot, Test Engineer the Corporate Manager from Lacroix Electronics. So let's get started. Here is the agenda for today. First, we will discuss the trends in the high volume PCBA manufacturing. Then, discover the challenges most of you are facing in testing high volume small DUTs. June will go through test technologies that maximize test coverage for low density PCBAs. Afterwards, Benson is going to share with us Lacroix Electronics experience using the newly introduced product, the Keysight i7090. Before we summarize the outcome of this webinar, we will share additional test results using the massively parallel test system. During the Q&A session, Vincent, June, and myself are happy to answer any question you may have. With this, I turn it over to June. Thank you, Mehdi. Good morning, everyone. Let me start with the introduction of high volume manufacturing of a small PCBA and what are the common traits. In today's world, electronics is everywhere. Connected products are now an integral part of our lives and they will continue to evolve as small devices enter the world of connected ecosystem. The following segments are examples of devices that we are seeing becoming a part of our lives. In the IoT segment, we have devices like smart home entertainment, security, surveillance, wearables, appliances, and many more. Consumer electronic products like home appliances, lighting solution, personal care, gaming, ink cartridge, to name a few for consumer electronic segments. Consumer medical devices are hearing aids, blood pressure, glucose meter, thermometer, handheld ultrasound, sleep monitor are increasingly especially with the current pandemic situation. And lastly, in the automotive segment, we see electronics growing in the form of remote keyless, seat control, parking system, infotainment, dash cam, night vision, lighting control, and many more. So what is so special about the products in this industry segment. The common traits of this product are inside these devices. These are the small size PCBA, as small as 25 mm by 25 mm in size, and are manufactured in a very high volume. Some of these PCBA, what might consider low in cost, roughly about 10 euro per PCBA, but they are considered critical part of the finished products, such as part of the car, medical devices, and for everyday use in our daily routine. The current most effective in-circuit test solution used by most manufacturing have not been able to address the testing needs of this product. This is because the PCBA itself could not pay for tests using in-circuit tests. While the low-cost spot tests favored by many manufacturing, such as MDA, are inadequate to cover the test and throughput requirements, making it more expensive to be used in high-volume test manufacturing. 
the PCBA manufacturing needs an effective solution to test this small size PCBA to maximize throughput and able to match the current bit rate of the production SMT line. Thank you, June. As I work in the field, I'm well positioned to raise the voice of my customers. I believe it is a good opportunity for me to say out loud what my customers are telling me. Challenge number one, my device under test is too small for a traditional inline bed of nails. The test solution, aside from being cost effective, needs to ensure that it can meet the volume production output per day. In this scenario, the output requirements for the board test solution is 20,000 units per day. The SMT line is able to produce eight PCBAs per panel every six seconds. Let's analyze the test time from the table. One DUT needs four seconds to be tested, which means for the panel, we will have 32 seconds as the test is being done in serial mode. This means the output per shift is around 4.9 DUTs only, and a total of 14.7 thousand per day, which is 5,000 plus short of expected 20,000 units per day. In this challenge, the traditional solution of adding another low cost and circuit test system is not really cost effective as it will duplicate the low cost test system, duplicate the fixture, duplicate the operator, and occupy more floor space. Challenge number two, I need to increase the throughput at minimum cost. In this scenario, the existing device under test is being tested on a single board test system with a current output of 25,000 units per day. There is a sudden demand increase and manufacturing is required. Most of us on this call heard about the increased demand on respirators as the COVID pandemic started, right? Let's assume in this case that the daily production needs to reach 100,000 units. The common solution is to add three more systems to achieve a total of 100,000 units per day. As seen in the previous challenge, duplicating test systems means we need to duplicate fixtures, operators, we need more floor space. All of this without mentioning the spare parts needed for uptime support. If we do the math, we can notice that the throughput was increased. That's correct. But was this done at a minimum cost? The third and last challenge. My device under test has few components and a microcontroller. In this scenario, we have a panel of 16 low density PCBAs which require flash programming for each of them. The up and short, analog test, and programming must be done in parallel in order to meet the target production output of 100,000 units per day. Unfortunately, this is an uphill task for the manufacturing test engineering department, as the current board test solution will not be able to cope up with the demand. They need a new board test system that will be cost effective and meet the demand of future increase. Let's summarize together the challenges we've just mentioned and their classical solutions. For the challenge number one, my device under test is too small for a circuit test system. In this case, should I go for a flying probe instead of a bed of nails? Should I rely more on functional test? If I go with a traditional in circuit test system, will I get appropriate return on investment? For the challenge number two, I need to increase my throughput at minimum cost. We've seen together that duplicating stations is not always cost effective. For the third and last challenge, what should I do when I have a low density device under test with a microcontroller? Should I have a dedicated flashing station? Is it cost and process effective? Well, we took those concerns to the board test R&D team and they came up with a solution. June will tell us more about it following the poll question. Thank you everyone with the poll. Now let's go through the solution or what is needed in the board test 
to address the challenges in testing high volume small size PCBA. Existing system in the market has capability of poor cost in parallel only. This means that to be able to expand the output requirements, there is a need to purchase more system to meet manufacturing capacity demand for high volume, which includes scaling in infrastructure costs, a bigger factory floor space to house additional system, and an additional labor cost for support and maintenance. The Keysight I-1790 board test system is designed to test today's highly panelized PCB in the fastest time possible, utilizing the parallel capability at the lowest cost per unit tested. Test features are including component tests, test sequence will start to run discharge to remove residual electric charge from PCB. Next step, is to run FINS tests to ensure all of test probes connected on PCB to make sure there is no contact issue between test fixtures and system. Now, system will start to execute the open shot test on the PCBA connections before proceeding to component tests, which includes resistor, capacitor, inductor, diode, transistor, and many more. The Keysight I-790 also includes Keysight's proprietary vector-less technology called NanoBitap, designed to include coverage on the smallest IC and connectors to detect open pins. The Keysight I-1790 system also offers Keysight power supplies to power up the PCBA for voltage measurement detection to ensure that it powers up correctly. Parallel in-system flash programming. The Keysight I-1790 includes capability to add a flash programmer of up to 660 channels to enable parallel programming. Programming takes most time roughly at an average of 2 to 3 seconds per board, which easily takes 32 seconds to 48 seconds of the test time for a 16 PCBA in a panel. This is a huge throughput burden for high volume manufacturing. With Keysight I-1790's parallel flash programming, the dream of having all the PCBAs programmed at the same time within two to three seconds is possible now. Flexible and a scalable configuration. With up to 20 parallel test calls for pure open shorts and analog unpowered testing, or the ability to mix with up to 160 parallel flashing channels, the Keysight I-1790 offers great flexibility to fit for your PCBA testing requirement. The system can be expanded in both hardware and software capabilities to meet your future growth needs. Keysight I-1790 system provides capacity for up to 2,560 test spins and a full 18-slot PXIE instrument chases in an affordable testhead design. Module cards containing the tested hardware resources, DUT power supplies, and the system controller are all located in a 600mm testhead, minimizing floor space. Besides, I-1790 provides instant system programming, so it is not necessary to add programming tool into fixture to to avoid high fixture fabrication costs. Regarding to the mechanical portion, we offer inline automation and handling time target at four seconds. You will have I-1790 offline system also, uh, the second phase by next year. In order to expand functionality, the I-1790 includes Keysight's open tap tool that enables open platforms for third-party instrumentation plugin integration. This is scheduled for the second phase of Keysight I-1790, and this will enable integration of ICT and functional tests in one platform. Keysight I-1790 massively parallel board test system. The system dimension is with a width of 600 mm 
dimensions of 1,480mm and a height of 1980 mm which minimize floor space requirements. They also support PCB size with a maximum PC dimension of 430mm by 460mm. Minimum PCB dimension is 50mm by 50mm. The maximum test pin can offer up to 2560. Each relay card provides 128 channels. Therefore, the maximum 20 cores offers 2560 test fins. Keysight I1790 is industry 4.0 ready. With the enable of IPC CFX and Hermes, it also enables Keysight Fatway Big Data Analytics for manufacturing. There are two options offered to add in the Keysight I1790 handler. Secondary conveyor for bypass purposes if you need two Keysight I1790 system in a single line. You also provide dual board stopper if you have an ultra high volume requirement. Fixture type supports long wire. Keysight has also enabled fixture partners globally to supply fixture for Keysight I1790. Now let's go to the Keysight I1790 test engine. Every part of Keysight I1790 are designed with a purpose. The test engine's flexibility and scalability is possible with the compact design of the test engine. As you can see in the photo, the test engine is elegantly designed to be removable to the main handler, enable for the user to conveniently remove the test engine, which houses the car cage, VXI, and the UUT power supplies as well as the system supplies. Now let's move to the Keysight I-1790 test engine card cage details. The I-1790 has two card cages. The first is the pin card cage, and the second one is the PXIE chases. The pin card cage holds two cards. One is the analog pin cards and the programmer card. The analog pin cards with 128 pins, the maximum analog pin cards configuration will be 20, and with 128 pin per analog cards, the total maximum will be 2,560 nodes. The programmer carrier card and each card supports two third-party programmer cards, and currently it enables the SMH Plus Runner 2.0, which is an eight-channel card. The maximum card that you can put is 10 carrier card, which totals 160 channel for the whole system. The PXIE chases holds two types of card, the system interface card, which is the connection between the system and the PC controller, and the more importantly, the VAM or the vectorless and analog measurement card. This enables the capability for the nano VTAP vectorless testing, as well as the analog measurement capability during testing. Let's recall the first challenge, which is the increase of production output per port A, which the existing test system has not able to achieve. Now the Keysight I-1790 test system, with a parallel testing capability of up to 20 PCBA, the Keysight I-1790 enabled to achieve a high volume output of 20,000 in a single ship only. Compare that to the need to double the existing low cost system which will need an additional investment of 60,000 plus additional fixture costs, labor costs, as well as floor space and maintenance costs. The Keysight I-1790 with the parallel testing capability shows a cheaper solution in achieving the target output in one third of a time compared to the existing test system. This also shows that they will be able to run more projects in the same system since you only need one ship to run board A. For example, board B, which needs 20,000 per day output, can be achieved in four hours only. Board C, which needs 40,000 output, can be achieved in eight hours only. All the three board type A, B, and C will be able to run on a single test system. Isn't that amazing? 
Let's now go to the second challenge where the production output requirement increased 200,000 per day. Again, the current low-cost test system will require an additional of three more system plus fixture, operator, technician, floor space, and maintenance cost increase. Now let's look at the Keysight i7090, massively parallel bot testing. With the flexibility to scale the configuration of the test system, to adapt to the dynamic increase of the production capacity. With the new bot test system, it will be able to achieve the target output of 100,000 per day with similar or lower costs compared to the low-cost bot test system. In the future, a further increase in output or changes to the board requirement that requires programming of the board, the Keysight i7090 will be able to adapt. One, making use of the dual board staging to have two panel of 16 PCBA to be tested at the same time. Add an additional carrier card plus two programming cards to be able to program all the PCBA in parallel. The third challenge is the requirement to increase to 100,000 per day with flash programming. The existing low-cost test system is not able to meet the requirements needed. They now need to look into a new board test system that will be able to achieve both the high volume output and the flash programming. The solution should cater for the possibility of having programming in parallel as part of the test system, along with parallel board testing of 16 PCBA in a panel. The Keysight i7090 massively parallel board test system with parallel programming capability we will be able to achieve both the required 100,000 per day output, including the flash programming of all the boards in parallel. To cater for future increase, the Keysight i7090 will be able to make use of the following. One, dual board staging to have two panel of PCBA to be tested together, or two, bypass conveyor to add an additional system to increase the output to 200,000 per day. Thank you for staying with us so far. I believe June triggered our curiosity, right? To tell us more about the real use case of the Keysight i7090, I'm very pleased to introduce Mr. Vincent Herriot, the Test Engineering Corporate Manager at Lacroix Electronics. Vincent is in charge of the test strategy, which includes not only the design for test, but also the design and development of the test equipments. He defines the right approach to test their, the Lacroix customer products manufactured and assembled in their factories in France, Germany, Poland, and Tunisia. In his role, he owns the responsibility for the in-circuit and functional test system. We're happy to have him with us today. On to you, Vincent. Hello, everybody. Before going through our main subject on the i7090 tester, let me introduce my company. Lacroix Group is a family-owned company based in an international footprint, employing more than 4,000 people and achieving around 500 million euros of revenues. We are a technological equipment provider developing connected products for a smarter world in the field of water network, environment, mobility, energy, and industry 4.0. Lacro Group has the ambition to be a global leader in industrial IoT and electronics equipment for critical application. The group is built around three complementary activities from bottom to up, you can see, Lacroix Environment, offering equipment for the management of water and energy infrastructure. Lacroix City, serving the smart mobility with four business units, street lighting, traffic management, V2X, vehicle to infrastructure, 
and Lacroix Electronics, offering electronics design and manufacturing services. As a conclusion, you understand that Lacroix Group is offering innovative, smart, robust, evolutive and cyber secure equipment. Inside our group, we have several communities, as well as an internal lab, all gathering skills and expertise in high tech and manufacturing. Now I will talk about our high 1790 experience, the background of the evaluation. We are producing for one of uh, our automotive customers over 1.3 million of products with a test strategy deployed, including in circuit test, programming, and functional test. Today, to reach the uh, mass production capacity, we have deployed two offline circuit tester and dedicated programming station before the coating process and the last functional test operation. The board typology, so the board under test, has 249 components uh, with a mix of analogic and numeric uh, technology, with a CPU uh, Renesas embedded to be programmed during the process. The test is done in panel of six boards. Regarding the objective and challenges, we took the opportunity to evaluate a new solution with the promise of a breakthrough on ICT testing. The objective of the partnership with Keysight was to evaluate and obtain field feedback from the system on concrete use case from Keysight. It was also the opportunity to allow Lacro Electronics to be a pioneer in the implementation of innovative solutions in the field of the in-situ uh, testing, which is today a very static technology um, until now, with the objective of uh, productivity gain, ROI, without a common measure compared to the one existing on the market. The challenge is, was to get the same test coverage as the existing one already in production. Get high cost down, saving on the labor operation. And reduce the actual footprint by replacing two offline in circuit test tester and two programming station by only one system. What about the evaluation results? Following the debugging phase and the very close case I work on the implementation, we got the following results. ICT test time has been reduced by 10. 2.5 seconds, amazing, compared to 26 seconds we, we have actually. So that they are uh, technological testing time without the uh, transportation. The test coverage remains the same, thanks to the new tester possibility. We have also implemented the uh, microcontroller on ESAS parallel programming. So it was a successful implementation in the tester, thanks to the uh, SMH uh, Flash Runner 2.0 solution. Going to the end, about our experience using the i1790 tester. Uh, you can see on the right side the results uh, we succeed to reach. Um, so we are able now to replace two in circuit tester machine and programming station by only one machine. One single machine for in circuit test and onboard programming. The footprint is four times smaller. So 
it's very important in the electronic industry. The tester is going faster by 10. So it's amazing <laughs> compared to what we have today. Um, regarding the, um, let's say, um, the uh, other advantage of the machine, um, there is a, a friendly and intuitive HMI, uh, which allow um, modification of the program by blocks, uh, a quick program adaptation, um, where the component of the different boards of the panel are tested with the same parameter, and there is a simple menu for the choice of the test parameter. There is a quick operator machine setup regarding the power up, the product loading, the jig or test fixture in notification, the tester start, uh, the uh, modification of uh, the parameterization of the execution of the test program sequencing is done by a conditional task list, which, which is uh, very convenient. Um, there is also um, an interface, a tester interface, with a large opening, allowing you quick access to the connection for the modification on the jig or on the tester or for the maintenance. Thank you, Vincent, for sharing Lacroix as well as the test result on Keysight I-1790. Now, let me continue and share other results of Keysight I-1790. Here is a result to show Keysight I-1790 test throughput improvement. As you can see here, that there's 10 PCBA in one panel. The existing solution is able to support eight PCBA in one panel, but there is a problem. This existing solution cannot support more than eight PCB boards in one panel when new project with 10 PCB boards is coming and test time is requested less than 19 seconds to achieve the target mass production output. In order to meet new projects criteria, more system investment are required. Therefore, finding a new test solution is needed to support this new project. After implementing Keysight I-1790, as you can see, the total test time reached to 6.1 seconds for all the analog tests, including power-up for voltage measurement. Board handling time is 5.6 seconds because of the panel dimension, and the total test time, including handling, is about 11.7 seconds. The test time has a tremendous improvement comparing with the existing test time of 19 seconds from the existing low-cost board test system. The Keysight I-1790 test time is about three times plus faster than the existing solution for 10 PCBA in a panel. And this table shows the performance of Keysight I-1790, improved test throughput compared to an existing low-cost test system. In this case, we are using Keysight I-1790 10 cores versus four cores for an existing low-cost test system. The price per core is cheaper on Keysight I-1790 because it supports multiple cores up to 20. We can have total price of I-1790 to divide by 10 cores so that we can quickly estimate the price for each core. The I-1790 can test around 500 components per second. Therefore, I-1790 can test 5,000 components per second when system run on a 10 cores in parallel test. When we leverage the test time of 6.1 seconds from previous page test result, we can easily calculate 5,900 PCBA per hour based on the 10 core parallel testing. In summary, the Keysight I-1790 can perform 5,900 PCBA per hour, and if there's 20 hours per day, the manufacturing production can produce 118,000 PCBA per day. Comparing this to the old test system with four cost system, Keysight I-1790 improved the throughput by up to 212%. Now let's have the summary from Medi. Thank you, June. 
Before we move to the Q&A session, let us summarize the challenges, the solution, and the results we've seen together during this session. Let's start by the challenges. My device under test is too small for a circuit test system. I need to increase my throughput at minimum cost. I'm producing a high volume, low density PCBA with flash programming. The solution, the first massively parallel board test system, the Keysight i7090. It has up to 20 cores. It is capable of parallel flash programming up to 160 channels. It has a small footprint and is industry 4.0 ready. As an early adopter, Lacroix Electronics, as you've heard from Mr. Vincent Herriot, achieved higher throughput in a smaller footprint by using a single machine for parallel and circuit test and onboard programming. Thank you everyone for your attention. Now we will move to the Q&A session. Thank you all for staying with us so far. Uh, we got some interesting questions. Uh, we will be uh, answering to them in a couple of minutes. So June, if you can please also uh, come live to the session. Thanks for joining. Uh, Vincent, we have also some questions directed to you. So if you can also unmute your line. So uh, I start by the first question. So uh, the first question is about the operator interface. So uh, how the operator interface looks like. Uh, June, do you want to take this one? Sure. Um, yeah, so thanks for the question. I think that's that's really an interesting question. And um, so the way the interface looks like is, as you know, uh, and I'm pretty sure you have seen uh, the new um, interface from the existing uh, Keysight system. So uh, we really put a really a good emphasis on the operator because you know 90% um, of the usage of the system is really meant for operator. So the uh, the way we design the interface is an operator friendly, and um, I, I can't really explain much in in the word how I would like the um, uh, operator interface um, to uh, to paint. I, I don't have currently on a presentation right now, but um, again, uh, if we if, if you will allow us, um, Mary and I will probably have a separate session with you. Uh, to show that uh, particular interface of the uh, I-7090. But um, again, uh, I would like to emphasize that the interface are really designed for operator. Thank you, June. Um, Vincent, we have a question uh, to you. Uh, I think you'll like it. So um, yep. we have uh, someone um, asking for sure to have a brochure or a document uh, about your activity. So if you, okay. uh, I think this is feasible, definitely. Um, and if you, if you just can send that to us. Okay, perfect, perfect. Um, we have also um, another question. It's with regard to the Hermes protocol. I think we've answered to that one during the, um, the, uh, the presentation of June. So the answer is uh, is yes. The I-1790 supports Industry 4.0, IPC, CFX, and Hermes, definitely. Um, let me pass on to um, another question. OK, I'm just, uh, well, can I plug 20 analog cards and 10 programmers um, I will I will take uh, on this question and answer to so the the system has 20 uh, slots which means that's the maximum we can we can get uh, but uh, assume that the programmer card can handle up to um, I think eight channels so if we have only one card we can go to uh, to 16 channels um, in order mainly to define um, how the system will look like, uh, we can do uh, what we did uh, with Lacroix, which means we can analyze the CAT files and look into the optimized configuration on the 7090. So you can, you can, you can consider the system as a real scalable platform that depending on, um, on the product, on the device under test, we can get in touch with the R&D, they can have a look at the CAT files and then define 
what would be, I will say, the best configuration. And then, uh, fee, um, and then finally, uh, we can provide you also with some estimated test times. Okay, let me um, read on the other questions. Yes, I have a question for you, June. So speaking about the nice user interface, it, uh, about the developer user interface or about the operator user interface at its an inline system. Um, I think we can we can have a small um, answer both from Vincent, who, who also used this uh, user interface, and uh, and yourself, June. Sure. Um, okay, so I'll go ahead first. Um, so let let me repeat the question so that I'll, I'll um, understand. Um, so Mary, uh, you mentioned to. Um, um, have a description of the development as well as the operator interface. Um, am I correct in interpreting the question? Uh, yes. Okay. And what's what for us? It's an inline system. Um, do you speak about the developer UI, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the way the way we position our um, uh, UI is is really both for operator as well as test engineer, and um, it, I, I think um, yeah, uh, Jill's uh, they're probably familiar also with how the keysight interface is. Um, so it's, it's similar with the seventeen ninety. We have a separate um, operator interface. Um, that is really meant for um, the operator. And then we have a separate developer interface. Uh, not necessary that you have to use the system uh, to do a development. Uh, we, you can basically start your development on your laptop. So you can install the software in your laptop to do your own development and then um, transfer that particular develop program into the system for debug debugging purposes. Um, so um, it's, it's all GUI based. Uh, it's, it's, there's no like command that you need to uh, memorize in, in, um, with the i7090. Everything is um, um, uh, user interface driven. All right, that's all for me. Thank you, June. Uh, comment on the user interface. Sorry, Benson, uh, is it Benson? Yeah. May, yeah, maybe he's on mute still. Ah, yes, yeah, so okay. sorry. Now we, uh, we got him. <laughs> yes, yeah, so about the user interface, uh, as I said, as you have seen in the uh, presentation, um, the uh, HMI is very uh, friendly and intuitive. So it's very easy for the operator to, uh, to move on it and to, uh, to drive the, uh, the test. Um, to, sw to switch on the machine to um, to launch the uh, the testing and to uh, also to, to move uh, to not to move sorry to uh, to correct or to adapt the uh, the test sequence if needed by the uh, the technician. So it's not the usual uh, uh, key sight uh, um, HMI uh, like you, you can find on the um, 3070 uh, tester. It's a new one, but uh, really honestly, it's a very friendly interface. And, uh, we were pleased to, to use it. Thank you, Vincent. Uh, as we're um, from from the software, uh, June, so the question is, what is, uh, I, I see a lot of questions coming from Fixture, so I'm coming to them. I'm just want, uh, I'm just willing to, to put the questions that are related to the software together uh, to make a kind of um, better flow in the, uh, in the answer. So uh, the question is, what is, which soft tools is needed to develop to develop a test program um, and and a fixture for uh, for the thirty for the seventy ninety? Sorry. Yeah, um, good question again, Mary. And I think um, um, our, our audience is is really 
uh, interacting with us greatly. And uh, uh, the, the tools is actually comes with, um, the 1790 comes with their own um, development tools. Um, that, and, and together with that comes with what we call the uh, fixture generation um, tools embedded into the development uh, software also. Um, so um, again, uh, if you guys are interested and um, uh, you you want to learn more in terms of the tools. You don't have to, you know, wait for the uh, system to to have access to that. We are ready to um, um, provide you with all the information that you need and even a demo. Uh, we do have a demo coming in in Europe. In fact, we have one system uh, already in Europe right now. Uh, as you can see, ben Benzant has, has uh, shared about the system. So there's more uh, that is coming in Europe. And uh, if you guys want to know uh, more about the system as well as the software, uh, please uh, contact uh, Mary or your nearest um, sales guys. Uh, um, we'll schedule a time for you. Uh, thank you, June. So um, I, I will also... Uh look at the other questions that are related to the software and try to um, to, to answer to them. Um, so definitely uh, the user interface is different than BTI. Yes, we confirm that it is um, then uh, BT basic, but very close to BTI, um, I will say. Um, the programming language is proprietary for the machine. Um, it is based on the open tap uh, software. So the question was, what is the programming language used in the programming um, Interprogramming language set by default with the pre-programmed blocks. Uh, well, it is a proprietary software uh, for for the machine. It is based on the OpenTap software uh, created by Keysight Technologies, but um, uh, definitely is. Uh, um, so, if you have um, very few experience using ICT testers, it will be quite easy to to understand and to use the machine. Um, coming to the fixtures questions, and I see that there are uh, a couple. Um, okay, let me start by the first one. How does the fixture looks like? Um, June? Yes, and um, okay, fixture um, in terms of appearance, um, uh, it will be almost the same as any uh, bot test fixtures. Uh, that you're going to see in the market. The only difference is, is this is an inline. So uh, if you're familiar with Keysight 3070 inline fixture, uh, it looks the same um, from from at least the, the appearance of the fixture. Um, but um, inside, there's, there's a few difference um, in terms of the interface of the pin and the wiring that we use uh, directly to the PCA itself. Um, so in this case, we adopted uh, what we call a uh, long wire strategy to connect from the uh, um, analog um, pin to the uh, PCA itself. So um, so far, that's the only thing that I can uh, think of. But um, yeah, again, the, the measurement, the uh, um, the other uh, things, uh, this is really uh, meant for I-1790. It's a dedicated fixture for I-1790. Uh, you won't be able to uh, transfer it to another uh, key site system. So that's how, that, uh, what I mean, that um, the difference uh, probably between a 3070 and I-1790 fixture. Thank you, June. Uh, we have also another question with regard to the hardware. I think I will tackle this question. Um, it's with regard to the analog cards. Are these 3070-based? Uh, um, no. Uh, the, uh, the cards are completely different from the 3070 uh, cards. So this is a complete form factor. So uh, the analog cards from the 1790 cannot go inside the, um, the, 70, uh, the 3070 test engine and uh, vice versa. Yeah, can I add to that, Mary? Okay. Yes, sure. Yeah, uh, so just to add, um, although the form factor are different, um, uh, as you know, um, the the analog card has actually adopted um, the measurement uh, technique. So 
whatever uh, you get from 3070 in terms of measurement, uh, you also get that in 7090. So um, the technology is basically in there. We adopted the same technology as what you see on 3070 in terms of an analog measurement. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. So uh, we have another interesting question, and I think this one is quite challenging also question. Um, is it possible to use another programming tool, or we have to use the standard one? All right, that's, that's really I interesting. Smart thing, June. <laughs> yeah, and, and I like the question because, you know, um, uh, we, we said we, we can program um, 160, right? And um, I think the, 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 uh, um, the question that, that our attendees are, are in their mind is, will it be a proprietary key site programming tool? So a little bit of suspense there. And the, the answer is that it is not. So that means that the way we design I-7090 in terms of programming, uh, currently we enable a, uh, um, a another programming vendor, um, but that doesn't stop us from working on your, um, you know, um, another prepared uh, programming vendor if you have. Uh, we actually design uh, what we call a career card uh, in such a way that um, every programming uh, vendor out there um, that is interested to plug in their own Flash programmer into I-1790 are welcome to do that. Perfect. Um, I do have also a question to um, to Vincent. So Vincent, if you can uh, unmute yourself for, for this question. Yeah. I think it's a challenging question for you. So uh, okay. the audience was impressed by the results you've presented. So one of the question was, have you done um, a return on investment calculation um, between this platform and the traditional approach you had? Yes, it, it, uh, it's ongoing and the um the ROI should be less than one year. Okay, that's uh, that's interesting for uh, for this approach. So um, just to repeat the answer, so it is ongoing calculation. The area, the ROI would be um, around one year, or yeah, less than, maybe less. less than one year. So yeah. uh, we will see this <laughs> less than one year for uh, for such a machine on the same product uh, with the same volume. So this is this is really impressive. Thank you, Vincent. Uh, June, I have also another question. Uh, have we involved um, any other software vendors? Um, I'm sorry, I cannot nominate the software vendors um, to generate the picture files. Yeah, so um, from CAD to uh, what we call a translation um, to, oh, uh, I'm not sure how to say that, uh, whether it's a board file, um, you, you can choose, um, you can choose the, uh, the, um, the conversion um, that you would like to. So, um, uh, Again, you can use um, any other vendor in terms of uh, translating uh, the CAD data, but in terms of um, development of the fixture file itself, um, that will be uh, I-1790 um, based. So uh, our I-1790 fixture generation will basically generate um, whatever files that you input. Okay. Thank you, June. Um, also, with regard to uh, fixtures, uh, I, I, sorry, I'm very sorry, I overlooked this question. Um, so what about the connection between the fixture and the tester? Is there a dedicated connector or it is um, a pylon connector? Um, can the, uh, the user customize and choose his interface? Um, sorry, I didn't get that question again, uh, Mary. Can you yeah. be able to repeat that? It's number 18 on the list. 
it's number 18 in the list if uh, if you you're, you're okay. looking into well, the list so the question says okay. what about the connection between the fixture and the tester is there a dedicated connector or it is a pillion or uh, uh, a vpc or can i choose my interface all right yeah um so the um, the interface between the fixture and the i7090 is a dedicated one uh, in fact, um, we have work, we are working with uh, different uh, partners uh, to enable what we call a fixture kit. So um, um, this fixture kit will basically design um, the, uh, the interface itself. Um, it, it pretty much like uh, the concept of what the uh, i3070 is, um, but the positioning is, is really different than 1790. Again, um, I, I would like to really um, uh, uh, describe that in, in an actual system or even a photo. Um, and uh, I, I guess um, our guys here are, are in this meeting and uh, we will be able to take it further um, with you. Um, we'll, uh, we'll have asked that question uh, with, with the actual uh, system or photo itself, or even the, the, the fixture itself. Thank you, June. Uh, I see that we're reaching the top of the hour, um, and I see that there, there are no other additional questions coming in. But before we conclude, let us at least um, convey to you a very important message. What we've done with Lacroix, we can also do it with you. So if you are still not sure whether the 1790 is a good fit for your application, is a good fit for your product, you're designing your product and you're not sure how the test strategy would go, please get in touch with us. We will be very happy. We have the appropriate dedicated resources to analyze your CAD files, to get in touch with you, to share with you some test times, some test coverage for, uh, for the product. And definitely, uh, we can also organize some demo sessions if this is needed. Uh, please, also as a reminder, do not forget to fill the, um, um, I will say, the, the survey. Um, follow up with us with, uh, with any question you may have. Uh, before we conclude, I want also to thank again uh, Vincent for his um, presence, for his wonderful presentation. So. Um, as we're coming to, to the end of this webinar, I will wish you a very good day, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are. Thank you, everyone, and looking forward to talk with you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.